me now. Te me nimad, et kui sul on Bible kaasa võetud, siis tees on näe lahti Jeremia raamatus 29. Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremia 29 peatuks. And uh, tonight is our 18th part on our series we're calling Real Life 2015. And again, my goal on teaching you on Wednesday nights is to give us a balanced a uh, study and intake of the word of god. Ja see et anda sulle tasaka alustatud nii-öelda uurimuse äh, Jumala sõnast äh, ja nii-öelda osa sellest. Now of course we cannot cover everything there is about the bible in the short times that we have together. Otse loomulikult me ei suuda katta absoluutselt kõike mis piibris on läbi nende vähest aegade mis meil koos on. It's going to take us a lifetime to study the bible and we still won't get it all. Selleks et mõista piibrit täielikult meil on vaja uurida seda terve elu ja ka siis me ei mõista mõistaks seda täielikult. But I do my very best for you. Aga mina tead annan oma parima sinu jaoks. And I do my best to seek God. Ja ma annan oma parima selleks et otsida Jumala. And to ask him what it is that he he would have me to teach to you. Ja küsida temalt, mis oleks see, mis tema tahab, et mina teile õpetaksin. And I thank God that he leads me in what I teach. Ma tänan Jumalat sellest, et tema juhib mind selles, mis ma õpetan. And there is really, you know, there's no rule of what I have to teach next. Ja tegelikult ei ole mingisugust otsest reeglit, mida ma pean järgmisena õpetama. But I just want to be sure that I'm doing my part. Aga ma tahan kindlasti teha, et mina annan enda osa. To give you a fresh word from God every time we come together. See, et iga kord, kui me kokku saame, ma jagan sinu ka värske, et osa Jumala sõnast. That we hear from God what he wants to say to you. Ja me kuuleme seda, mida tema tahab meil öelda. And so I just, I'm so thankful for his faithfulness to us. Ja ma olen nii tänulik tema ustuse eest meie vastu. We are a blessed church. Me oleme teist õnnistatud kogudus. Amen. Amen. And I thank God that his word is alive and it speaks. Ma tänan Jumalat sellest, et tema sõna on elav ja see kõnetab meid. And I thank God that he leads me and what I teach. But when we have the right understanding of God's word, then we are going to be able to, to, to uh, use what he has given to us. And God will begin to use us more. Because we have the ability to to give what we have. Sest meil on see võimekus jagada seda, mis meile on antud. And if we don't understand the word correctly. Ja kui meie ei mõista Jumala sõna korrektselt. It is hard, it's difficult for us to give what we have. Siis meil on väga keeruline anda edasi seda, mis meil on. And so we need to know what it is that we believe. Seega meil on vaja teada selgelt, mis on see, mida me usume. And we need to know why we believe it. Meil on vaja teada, miks me seda usume. So that we can talk to people and we can share our faith with others. Sest me saaksime rääkida inimestega ja jagada neil oma usku. And we can do it with kindness. Ja me saame seda teha lahkusega. And we can do it with clarity. Me saame teha seda selgusega. Amen. Amen. And so that is the purpose of coming together. Ja see on see eesmärk, miks me saame kokkusi. That we would understand the word. Ja me mõistaksime Jumala sõna. And I thank God that the word is alive. Ja Jumalat sellest, et tema sõna on elav. That you are growing in your understanding ja of what God says. Ja sina oma mõistmises ja aru saamises. And here in Jeremiah chapter 29. Ja siin Jeremia raamatus 29. peadek. God just spoke this to me real bold last night. Jumal jagas seda eile minule väga julgeltud. In verse 11 it says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in a future. Jeremia 29:11, sest mina tunnen mõtteid, mis ma teie päras mõlgutan, ütle viisand, neid on rahu, aga mitte õnnetuse mõtted, et anda teile tuleviku ja lootust. And then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Siis te hüüate mind appi ja tulete ning palute mind ja mina kuulen teid. And you will seek me and you will find me when you seek me with all your heart. Ja teie otsite mind ja leiate minu, kui te nõuate mind kõigest oma südamest. How many are thankful God has got a plan? Kui palju on tänulikult sellest, et Jumal on plaan? Amen. We're not just kind of all wandering through life and God too is like, well, I don't know what's going on. Me ei saanud teid hõlju läbi elus ja siis Jumal lihtsalt mõtleb, ma ei tea, mida teha. You know, the future is the future. Who knows? No, tulevik on teil selline nagu tulev, et tulevik on olemas selline nagu ta on. I'm so glad God knows. Mul on nii ja meil, et Jumal teab, mis on tulevik. I'm glad we serve a God who has a plan. Ma olen tänulik sellest, et Jumal me teenime Jumalat, kellel on plaan. And when we hook up with him, his plan can involve us. Ja kui meie ühineme temaga, 
siis meie võime olla, olla kaasatud tema plaan. And his plan is to prosper us. Tema plaan on selles, et meie saaksime olla, olla edukad. And to give us hope for our future. Ja, ja Jumal tahab anda meile lootust meie tuleviku jaoks. And so I thank God that things are going to be better for us. Ja ma on tänulik Jumalale sellest, et, et asjad saavad muutuda paremaks meie jaoks. Amen. Amen. Our future is going to be better than what it is meie right now. Meie saab olema parem kui see, mis praegu on. And things are going to continue to get better. Ja sa, saavad jätkuvalt paremaks minna. I believe that we are right on the edge of some very good things. Musun, et me oleme nii-öelda tulevate heade aegade alguses. Naturally. Nii loomulikuses. And spiritually. Kui ka vaimulikuses. God's got some cool things coming for us in the natural. Jumalal on imelise asju meie poole tulema loomulikuses. We're going to get new church rooms. Meil saavad olema uued koguduse ruumid. It's going to be a step up for us. See saab olema sam kõrgemale meie jaoks. Uh, you know, hopefully before the end of the month we're going to be in the rooms across the street. Loodetavasti enne kuu lõpu me saame juba uues kohas olla. And you know, so things are moving forward. See ka asjad liiguvad edasi. But I believe there's also some things in the spirit that are going to also break loose for us. Ka seda, et mõningad asjad vaimulikuses maailmas saavad avadema meie jaoks rohkem. God is going to give us all that we need when we seek him. Ja Jumal saab anma meile kõik, mis me vajame, kui meie otsime teda. And when we do it with all of our heart. Me teeme seda kogu oma südamest. Another place in the Bible it says do it with all your heart and your mind. Meil üks kohtus piibel räägib, et tee seda kogu oma südame ja kogu oma mõistusega. On your soul. Tee seda kogu oma oma hinges. Your strength. Oma tugevusest jõust. And everything that is within you. Ja kõigest, mis on sinu sees. That you would seek God. Et sa otsiksid Jumalat. And if you will do it that way, you will find God. Ja kui sina otsid Jumalat sellisel viisil, siis sa ta ka leiad. If you will seek for God's plan, you're going to find God's plan. Kui sina otsid Jumala plaani, siis sa leiad Jumala plaani. And we'll find it for this church. Me saame leida selle, selle koguduse jaoks. And we will find it for our individual lives. Ja me saame selle leida ka oma üksik inimese elu jaoks. And so I believe we're going to, we're going to some good things. Ja ma usun, et me siis enneme mõningadesse headesse asjades. And our understanding of God's word ja meie aru saamine Jumala sõnas is opening up for us more and more opportunities to be able to be used by God. Saab avanema ühe rohkem ja saab avada ka uusi võimalusi, et ole Jumala poolt kasutada. And that is part of God's plan. Ja see on osa Jumala plaanist. And I thank God that when we seek Him part of what we need to use is our mind. Ja täna on Jumalat selle eest, et osa tema teenimisest nõuab ka seda, et me kasutaksime oma mõistus. You know, there's many in the church that think, well, we just need to seek God with our soul. Uh, on paljud inimesed koguduses, kes arvad, like et peame ja, ja oma, 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 oma hingest või oma südamest otsima Jumala. But if you just kind of go after that part and just make it everything spiritual. Aga kui sa on nii-öelda hakkad ka igat asja üle vaimus, vaimus, vaimulikustama, you're going to miss so much. Siis sa võid väga paljust ilma jääda. And you're not going to grow. Ja sa ei pruugi kasvada. Because God is requiring us to think about what it is that he has spoken to us. Sest Jumal tahab, et sina mõtleksid selle peale, mida tema on kõnetanud sulle. And so we need to use our minds Sega meil on vaja kasutada oma so mõistust. So that we can learn about him. Selleks, et me võiksime õppida temast. So that we can grow in him. Ja me saaksime him. kasvada temast. And so that's what we do when we come here together on Wednesday night. Ja see on see, mida me teeme ka siin kolmapäeviti, kui me tuleme kokku. We grow. Me kasvame kogus. So that we can fulfill God's plan. Selleks, et me saaksime täide viia Jumala plaani. Because ja he's got a plan. Sest tema on plaan. Amen. Amen. And we are going to be big part part of that in the, the years to come. Me saame olla suureks osaks sellest tulevatel aastatele. But uh, that was just that was all free. Hello. See oli kõik tasutada eile by the way. Tonight, <laughs> aga täna õhtul. I'm going to start teaching for a couple of weeks we'll probably be on this about the Holy Spirit. Ma ei jagan mõningad nädalad arvatavasti pühast vaimust. And you know, uh, this is a subject that I think many times is misunderstood. Ja see on teema, mida ma usun, et uh, vahest uh, inimesed uh, uh, mõistavad vahesti või näevad vale nurgalt. And there's many churches that they don't even want to teach about this subject. Ja on ka kogudusi, kes ei soovi üldsegi puudutada seda teema. And so the people remain uh, ignorant concerning what, what it is the Holy Spirit desires to do. Tänu sellele inimese võivad täiesti ilma jääda sellest, mida püha vaime idatseb teha. But I want us to take some time and just just focus upon this over the next couple of weeks. Ma tahaksin võtta ja keskenduda sellele mõningad järgmised nädalad. You know, the way that God leads me to, to to lead you. Ja sa viis, kuidas Jumal juhib mind, et juhtida sind. As I usually teach on series. On see, et ma tüpiliselt jagan sõna seerjatele. I think it's really hard to teach everything about one thing in one night. Et ma usin, et seda on väga keeruline midagi õpetada millegist ühe õhtuga. Uh, but I think as we can take some time just to look into some things. Aga ma usun, et kui me võtame aega selleks, et vaadata mõningate asjade peale. That God opens up more and more to us. Siis Jumal ava, avab meie ees ühe rohkem ja rohkem. And so I, I want to just take some, you know, I don't know, maybe 
three, four weeks. And I want us just to look again and refresh ourselves concerning the Holy Spirit. And I, I believe God will even open your eyes to see some things in a new and fresh way. And so don't think, well, I've heard you teach about the Holy Spirit before. So I guess I don't need to come for the next month. No, I want you to be here so that your heart stirs. Because this is an important subject. And so, uh, you know, in the, the, the word spirit in Hebrew and in Greek it means wind and breath. And, and when God breathed, the Bible said that, that Adam became alive. The Spirit of God gave life to Adam. And it was the breath of God. And so this word uh, spirit in the Greek is the word pneuma. And, and it means uh, wind or breath. Now that word alone is not a person. But when you add the word holy before the word pneuma, then, then it becomes a person. It becomes a masculine form of the word. Form. Okay. The, the, there's three types of forms in the Greek language. There's the, the male form, there's the feminine form, and then there's the neutral form. Alright. And so what pneuma is just that's it, whatever yeah. Lona said. Me, male. Uh, et numa tähna on siis nagu meessugu. It, it's neutral. Ei, yeah. Yeah, kes sugu siis. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, so, numa yeah. is neutral. Et uh, numa on uh, lihtsalt kes soos. It just means breath, wind, it's, it doesn't, it's not man or... See on nagu asis on, see ei ole mingi isik, sellel on eluta olekus. But when you put the holy in front of it, it becomes a masculine word. Aga kui sa paned selle sõna püha sinna ette, siis see muutub maskuliinseks, eks siis meessoos sõnaks. All right, and so now, again, I've got nothing against women. I love women. I even married one. And so women are cool. But let me just make this very clear. The Holy Spirit is not a woman. The Holy Spirit is a man. He is a person. He is, he is, uh, he is an, an entity of God. A part of God. And, 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 and Jesus said that he will come and he will guide you. Uh-oh. Yeah. There's no Estonian uh, uh, form. So yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That didn't work. Did I it? said he, not she. Thank so. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. It, uh, <laughs> Wow, I guess that could be very confusing in Estonia. Because you might not really know. But it is a masculine form of the word. And so this is what I believe in teaching about the Holy Spirit. About you know, when we teach about him, we need to have a well-balanced way. We need to see it correctly. And if we never watch Christian TV, and, and trust me, you don't want to believe everything that's on Christian TV. But when it comes to teaching on the Holy Spirit, if we never watch Christian TV, if we never were around other Christians, if we were never in a church before. If all we ever did was read the Bible about the Holy Spirit. We would all 
desire to have the Holy Spirit being active in our lives. Siis me kõik igaltseksime ja täiega tahaksime, et see püha vaim oleks aktiivne meie. You didn't hear all the other goofy things that are said about him. Kui sa ei kuules kõik neid veidraid asju, mis räägitakse temast. On Christian TV and in some churches. Ja kristlikus televisioonis ja mängates koodustes. If you didn't see strange Christians saying that they're spiritual. Kui isa ei näeks veidraid kristlasi ütlemas, et nemad on kristlased ja nad on vaim, vaim, vaimsed. If all you did was saw him in the Bible. Kui ainus asi, mida sa teeksid, on, on et sa näed püha vaimu läbi Jumala sõna. Old Testament and New Testament. Nii vana kui ka uus testament. You would say that is somebody I want in my life. Siis kui sa vaatad kõige selle peale, siis sa vaatad selle peale, sa peaks arvata hästi mõtleksid, et, et wow, ma tahaksin, et see oleks osa minu elus. I want to be anointed by him. Ma tahan olla võitud tema poolt. I want to have him helping me. Ma tahan, et tema aitaks mind. I want him to use me in the supernatural way ma just tahan, like he used this guy. Ma tahan, et ta kasutaks mind täpselt sama üleloomulik kui viisid nagu seda teist tüüp. And so this, this is what I, I want us to realize is the Holy Spirit is one of the coolest things that we could ever have. Ma tahan, et me mõistaksime seda, et Üha vaim on üks võimsamaid ja lahedamaid asju, mis, mis, mis võib kunagi olla osaks meie elus. And I believe that we should all desire to walk by the Spirit. Ja usun, me kõik peaksime tahtma käia vaimus. That day by day he is an active part in our life. Et päev päeva järel tema on aktiivne osa meie igapäevas. And many times the, the unfortunate thing is, is this subject gets so warped so twisted. Aga kahjuks väga tihti see sama teema saab väga muljutud ja ja vorbitud ja ja muljutud. And many people have a block concerning this teaching. Ja mõnikad inimesed tekitavad endale selle seina, mis puudutab seina ette, mis puudutab seda teema. Because of their tradition, church tradition and on koguduse koguduste siis traditsioonidele. Or because of maybe their background. Võib olla tänu nende taustale. But uh, you know, this is something that I think we all need to have a great understanding about. Aga mõsun, et see on üks punkt, milles meil on kõigil vaja väga suurt ilmutist aru saanud. And we've talked about this before. Ja me oleme rääkinud sellest vanem. If I were the Holy Spirit, ja kui mina oleksin püha vaim, uh, or let me, I'm sorry, if I were Satan, ma, I said it wrong. Ma parafraseerin selle, ma ütlesin valesti, kui mina oleksin Satan, if I were Satan, kui mina oleksin Satan, now listen, I'm not, nüüd kuule, ma ei ole, but if I was, aga kui ma oleksin, then, then I, if, if I was trying to stop the plan of God on the earth, kui mina üritaksin takistada ja peatada Jumala plaani siin maa peal, the one thing that I would do would be to confuse people concerning the Holy Spirit. Siis üks asja, kes mida mina teeksin, on see, et ma üritaksin inimesi sassi ja segadus saada selles, mis puudutab püha vaimu. That would be my number one goal. See oleks minu number üks prioriteet. If I'm going to stop the church, I need them to misunderstand the Holy Spirit. Kui ma tahan takistada kogudusi, siis ma pean neile vale aru saamise pühast vaimust tegema. I want to get God's people confused concerning spiritual things. Ma tahan, et Jumala rahvas oleks segaduses, mis puudutab vaimseid asju. And I want them to think it's something that it's really not. Ja ma tahan, et nemad mõtleksid, et see on midagi, mis see tegelikult ei ole. And I would give wrong teaching. Ja ma õpetaksin neid valest. And I would keep people ignorant. Ja ma hoiaksin inimesi teadmatuses. And I would take the ones that are confused and I would use them to confuse other people. Ja ma kasutaksin neid, kes on segaduses, et tekitada teistes segadu because i know that if i could confuse people siis ma tean et kui ma suudan inimesi segadus ajada they will not seek the holy spirit siis nad ei igas ja nad ei aja taga püha vaimu and if there are some people that are confused ja kui on inimesi kes on segaduses it's going to cause some other people that are normal to push away and say we don't want that siis see põhjustab ka teisi inimesi kes on täiesti normaalsed eemale tõukuma ja ütlema et Ma ei taha seda. And I would make sure if I were Satan I would make sure that the church did not come into contact with the power of God. Ja Mendeeksin kindlaks et 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 kogudus ei puutuks kokku Jumala väega ja ja üle maailm ei puutuks kokku Jumala väega. That would be my main job. See oleks minu põhi ülesanne. If I was the enemy of the church. Kui ma oleksin koguduse vaendane. And I want you to know can you uh, just go click that thing or it's just going to my thing is whistling. Somebody said me a uh, What was I saying? I, 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 five, five euros to missions. Got it. No, yeah, no worries. Aro, viis All right. <laughs> so, so there's, there's, there's a, an attack, a, a, a specific strategic attack on the church. Aga tead, on toimumas üks väga strateegiline ja välja välja kavandatud rünnak koguduse vastu. Concerning the spirit of God. Mis Jumala vaimu. And I want us to be very clear in this church. Ma tahan, et meie oleksime väga selged 
selles koguduses. What is wrong? Selles mis on vale. But what is right? Aga ka selles mis on õige. And I want us to focus on the right and not focus on Ma the wrong. Me keskinduksime sellele mis on õige, mitte sellele mis on vale. I want us to be open to what it is that God has for us. Ma tahan, et me oleksime avatud sellele mis Jumal tahab, et meile kuuluks. And there's a lot of tension in this world. Ja siin maailmas on väga palju pinge. There's a lot of pressure in this world. Väga palju survet on siin maailmas. And, and in EVK there's a lot of people who come and we're, we're all different. Ja la veeguuduses on palju sellised inimesi, kes on kõik erinevad. We're, we're, we're like all from different backgrounds. Me oleme kõik väga erinevate taustadega. We're different backgrounds spiritually. Nii vaimulikuses maailmas. There's different uh, uh, nationalities there's all kinds of differences and so we all come together and so there's this tension and then there's these differences and so the question is for us as a church is what do we do with the tension and the differences now we can have those tensions and those differences push us apart or those tensions and those differences can be used to, to make great music together Või, või seda, neid pingeid ja neid uh, erinemusi saab kasutada selleks, et uh, luua täiuslikku kooskõla. You know, like Freddy's guitar tonight. Nagu Freddy gitar näiteks täna. How does it make beautiful music? Kuidas see teeb imelist muusikat? Tension. Seal on pinge. And differences. Ja erinemused. Right? No nii. If it was all the same note, it wouldn't be music. Kui sa läks kõik üks täpselt sama noot, siis see ei oleks muusika. There's tension. Pinge, and there's differences. Ja and when it's used properly, ja õigesti, it is beautiful. Siis see on ime, ime ilus. And I think that is what the church is. Ja usun, et see on miski, mis on there's tension and there's differences. Siin on pinge ja siin on But when we are used together, Aga kui meid ühes koos, it can be beautiful. Siis see võib olla ime ilus. And this is what the Holy Spirit desires to do in us and ja see for on miski, us. Mida püha it, as he puts us together in the right way. And that is when the church becomes awesome. That is when we become who it is that God wants us to be. And it is only by the power of the Holy Spirit. And so as we come into this and as we begin looking at this, I want you to be open-minded about the Holy Spirit. I want you to know that there's some things that can push you away from Him. And that's on one extreme. And the other extreme is, is, is error concerning Him. That we show Him to the world in the wrong way. And so there's the one extreme that is like, no. We don't want to have anything to do with him. And then there's the other extreme that's kind of woo. They are really spiritual. And when you talk about him, you have to change your voice. The Holy Spirit is here. You know, and this is where some people are like, Ugh. or some people think, man, those, those Christians are just crazy. But I want us to be clear, the Holy Spirit doesn't make us crazy. But when we have a good, balanced understanding of who he is, it is going to be like wonderful music as he uses each one of us in our own special way. When we come together with all of our gifts and our talents and our abilities, he will use us together, I believe, to do something very special. And so let's look into the Bible and let's see what the Bible says about him. So that we know him. 
selleks siis me tunneksime we know what he desires me to do. Mida tema teha. and the sad thing is is there's a lot of churches that never teach about the holy spirit ja on selles, et väga palju ei räägi väga palju and so th- there's a lot of christians that don't really know about him on palju ei ei and you know i want to give you an advantage in life ja taha, tead, ma tahan sulle anda siin elus. because i believe it's the holy spirit that gives us an advantage ja usun, on püha vain, kes andab i want you to know what it, who he is ma tahan, et sa teaksid, kes tema on. i want you to know know what it is that he desires to do in your life so that you have and you walk in that advantage in some churches they only talk about the two of the the, the three they talk about the father and the son but they don't talk about the Holy Spirit we are a spirit filled church we believe in the Trinity we believe in the father the son and the Holy Spirit amen and so we're going to teach all parts of him. We're not going to avoid him. We're going to press into him. And, uh, you know, I've taught on, on the Trinity, uh, when was it, I guess, no, several months ago on Wednesday nights. Et, uh, ma, ma rääksin, uh, and, and, you know, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, you know, uh, and, and I'm not going to go into all that, but, but that's who we serve. Ja me, me ei lähe detailidesse kõige selles, aga see on see, mida me teenime. And there are some churches that teach this concerning the Holy Spirit. Ja on kogudusi, kes õpetavad seda pühast vaimust. That the work that he did in the Bible, that he stopped doing that now. Et see töö, mida ta siin piibis tegi, seda ta enam ei tee. They, they think that that, is, that, is, that time is over. Nad arvad, et see aeg on, on läbi, see on möödas. But we believe that the work of the Holy Spirit is still in operation on the earth. Aga me usume, et püha vaimu töö on siin maa peal veel toimimus. And that that move continues through the church. And he is here to help us. He will work for us. He will give us his gifts. And, and the Holy Spirit is active in our lives. Amen. And so when we understand him, when we know who, we, who he is and what he desires to do, we are going to be used more and more of him. Rohkem, rohkem so there's a few things about the Holy Spirit. On, on the Bible says that he baptizes us with fire. Räägib, tema, uh, that he fills you on the inside. The Bible says that he teaches us. Räägib, tema that he comforts us. Tema that he guides us. Tema that he corrects us. Tema that he helps us. Tema he strengthens us. Ta Amen. Amen. He, he does so much for us daily. He is the power of God in operation on the earth. And he has talked about throughout the Bible over 800 times. And so this, this Holy Spirit of God is active on the earth. Now the Father and the Son, they are in heaven. And, and they are delegating and they are planning what they desire to do here on earth. But here on the earth, the Holy Spirit is the one who does the plan of God. And listen, he does it through us. He does it through us. The Holy Spirit doesn't just come and do it. The Holy Spirit is not going to just show up and have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people get saved in Estonia. How do hundreds of thousands of people get saved in Estonia? Through us. The Holy Spirit will work through us. And he does the same thing throughout the world. He's the one that will, will do the will of God. But he will work through people that yield themselves to him. And so the three, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are working together in perfect unity. And when we yield ourselves to him, God will use us to help accomplish 
his plan. And so uh, there was a time that in the Acts chapter 2 is what we call the day of Pentecost. Uh, where we see the Holy Spirit filled people in a, in a different way. And he begins to help us in a new way now. Because Jesus went to the cross and paid his, his precious blood for us. Now we are able to receive the Holy Spirit of God on the inside. And everyone who is a believer in Jesus has the Holy Spirit on the inside of them. And, and he helps us. And this is what he helps us to do. He helps us to act holy. He helps us to speak boldly. And he helps us to pray more accurately. Amen. Amen. That's what he helps us to do. And as a believer, he dwells in you. His presence is in you. And even when you have a bad attitude, he's in you. Even when you're doing things that he's not pleased with. He's in you. And you need to know wherever you are, whatever you do. He's in you. He's with you. He's watching over you. We need to be careful that we recognize him daily. Daily. That we are looking to him. And we're saying, all right, use me today. You know, be who, who I need you to be. Help me through this day. Jesus said that he is with us. And he is in us. And he will come on us. In John chapter 14, when he's introducing the Holy Spirit. John 14, where he's introducing the Johannes Holy Spirit. And, and, and he says that he will be in you. And that's where the Holy Spirit lives. His, where his presence is in our lives. And he will come on us. That is that help that he gives us throughout our day. There are things that he will anoint us to do. If we will yield ourselves to him. One of the things he will anoint us to do is to prosper. And so he will help you to prosper in school, in your business, with your family, your relationships. Amen. He anoints you to be a success in every area of life. And so he is in us and he is with us. And we are never alone. And we're never without help. Because he's in us and he's with us and he comes on us. <laughs> and so the Holy Spirit is awesome. He's not weird. And listen, you don't have to be afraid that he's going to make you weird. Because the Holy Spirit's not going to make you weird. And the problem is, is we've seen people say, I'm anointed by the Holy Spirit, and they act weird. And uh, let me just say it this way. If they're weird when they're anointed by the Holy Spirit, they were weird before they were anointed with the Holy Spirit. And they're going to be weird no matter what it is that they do. And how many know some people are just weird? All right? The Holy Spirit isn't going to make you weird. He is the coolest and most stable thing on the planet. And the more we connect to him, the more cool and stable we will be in our lives. 
stabiilsemad, me saame olla. And so we don't need to be afraid of the Holy Spirit. Siga me ei peaks kartma pühavaimu. We need to desire to have the Holy Spirit active and working in our lives. Me peaks me igatsema, et pühavaim tegutseks ja toimiks meie elus igapäevast. So that we become less weird and more like him. Selleks, et me muutuksime vähem veidraks ja rohkem tema saame. And that people in the planet look to us and say, that's somebody I would like to hang out with. Inimesed siin maapeale saaksid vaata meie peale ja öelda, et Vot sellist inimestega ma tahaksin koos olla. Not say well there's those weird Christians again. Mitte öelda, et jälle on need veidrak kristlased. You know, let's stop being weird. Kuule, ärme ole veidrad. And I'm not talking about you weird. Ja, I'm talking about räägi, other people weird. Ja ma ei räägi sina oled veidrad, vaid ma räägin et teised inimesed on veidrad. And I don't want us to be weird. Aga ma ei taha, et me oleksime veidrad. And we don't have to be afraid that he's going to make us weird. Ja me ei pea kartma seda, et tema muudab meid veidrad. Jesus said this about him. Jesus ütles seda püha vaimu. Jesus said I'm going to go away. Jesus ütles, et mina lähen siit ära. And I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. Ja ma on teile püha vaimu and he will be just like me ja tema saab olema täpselt nagu mina how cool is that kas pole mitte lahe ütles amen he will be just like me püha vaimu saab olema täpselt see nagu mina eestus so the holy spirit is the spirit of christ püha vaim on kristuse vaim and jesus said he will do in my absence for you ja jesus ütles et minu ära oleku ajal tema saab tegema what i would do if i were there with you seda mida mina teeksin kui ma oleksin seal teega Jesus was the most awesome person that's ever lived. Jesus oli kõige lahedam ja kõige võimsam inimene siin maa peal. And he said I'm going away, I'm going to give you someone just like me. Ja ütles, et ma mina saan ära minema siit, aga ma saadan neile kellegi kes on täpselt nagu mina. He's cool. Ta on lahe. He's stable. Ta on stabiilne. He's strong. Ta on tugev. He's amazing. Ta on imeline. He will help you in your life. Tema aitab meid aitab sind sinu elus. And we should be like, well yeah. Ja me peaks me olema nagu ja, muidugi. The, I want that. Ma tahan seda. I need that. Mul on vaja seda. We need to look to him. Meeks me vaatame tema peale. And say you are who I've been looking for. Ütleme, et sina oled see, keda mina olen otsinud. This is how Jesus introduced him. Seda si Jeesus tutvustab seda. And so he said he will be with you. Ja ütles, et tema saab olema koos he, he, he will come on you. Ta tuleb sinu üle. And he will be in you. Tema saab olema sinu sees. And he will be your help through life. Ja ta saab olla sinu abi ja sinu elus. And with him we can know God. Ja tema koos me võime tunda Jumalat. But without him we can never really know God. Aga ilma temata me tegelikult ei tunne Jumalat. And so when the Holy Spirit comes on you. See, kui püha vaim tuleb sinu üle. I want you peal. to know that, that he is the one who's in control. Siis ma tahan, et see tema on see, kes, kes, kes on, kelle, kelle üle on kontroll. We cannot control the Holy Spirit. Meie ei saa kontrollida püha vaimu. And I don't care who preaches what or tries to tell you something. It's, it, 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 nobody's in control. Ja ma ei tea, kes, mida, mida sulle, kuidas on õpetanud, aga, aga sina ei kontrolli püha vaimu. Uh, you know, you can prepare an atmosphere for him to move in, absolutely. Sa võid ette valmistada atmosfääri tema jaoks, et tema saaks liikuda. Ja we, we do that by prayer. Me teeme seda läbi palve. We do that by worship. Me teeme seda läbi ülistuse. We do that by preaching and teaching the word. Me teeme seda läbi Jumala sõna kuulutamise ja jutlustamise. That's how we prepare a presence for him to move. See on see, kuidas me valmistame ette seda seda atmosfääri tema tema liikumiseks. But we cannot make him move. Aga me ei saa suundida teda liikuma. All right? You're not in control. Sina ei kontrolli teda. But we need to be open and willing to be used and willing to receive. Aga me peaksime olema äh äh, tahtlikud ja ja vabad, et tema saaks kasutada meid. He's not going to force himself on anything any uh, or force him, force himself onto anybody Sest who doesn't ei, want him. Tema ei saa sundima ennast peale kellegile, kes ei taha teda. But you cannot make him do anything. Aga sina ei saa sundida teda tegema mida igames. Don't listen to people who claim to have a certain power of God. Ära kuulan nii-öelda inimesi, kes ütlevad, et neil on mingi teatud kindel väki või võim Jumalaga. Well, I'm this or I'm that or uh, God mina, uses me to mina do this. See ja see, Jumala kasutab mind selleks või ainult selle tegemise. They don't have power over that. Neil ei ole tegelikult väga selle üle. Now, maybe God has used them like that in the past. Jah, võibolla Jumal on kasutanud neid just sellel eesmärgid. But it is no guarantee God will use that use them in that way today. Aga see ei ole garantii selleks, et Jumal saab neid ka selle päeval kasutama neid täpselt samamoodi. Just because God uses you in one thing one day does not mean you control that now in your life. Lihtsalt selle pärast Jumal kasutab sind ühel päeva, päeval ühel viisil ei tähenda et nüüd sinul on kontroll selle üle. We cannot control him. Sest meie ei saa kontrollida püha vaim. The Holy Spirit will do the will of God on the earth. Püha vaim saab tegema Jumala tahtmist siin maa peal. And you know what God wants to do? Ja tead, mida Jumal tahab teha. He wants to speak. 
Ta tahab kõneleda. He wants to heal. Ta tahab tervendada. He wants to restore. Ta tahab taastada. He forgives. Ta tahab annestada. He reveals his love. Ta avalikustab oma armast. He does all this by the Holy Spirit. Ja ta teeb kõike seda läbi püha vaimu. And he will do that. Ja ta teeb ka seda. But in all of this this outpouring of God. Aga kõige selles Jumal, kui Jumal vala venast välja niimoodi. We can't control it. Meie ei saa seda kontrollida. The best we can do is create an atmosphere for him to move as he wills. Parim asi, mida meie saame teha, on valmistada et atmosfääri selleks, et tema saaks tulla ja liikuda. And so if somebody says, well, why don't you just turn to your neighbor and prophesy to him? You don't need to do that. See, kui keegi ütleb, et pöörduma naabri poole ja profiteeri talle, siis sa ei pea sellist asja tegema. Not everybody can just, just you know, we can get real messed up that way. Mitte kõik lihtsalt ei saa niimoodi. Me võime väga sassi jääda asja niimoodi. Because if we're not anointed, sest kui sa ei ole võitud, if we don't have a word led by God, kui sul ei ole sõna, mis on Jumala käest, then we're just speaking to somebody with our own wisdom, siis me lihtsalt räägime kellegile midagi omast tarkusest and calling it God, ja nimetame seda Jumalaks. And how many you know a lot of times we don't think even close to how God thinks. Ja kui teavad, et väga tihti üldjuhul meie ei mõtle nii nagu Jumal mõtleb. And we don't know what God knows about those people. Ja me ei tea, mida Jumal teab nende inimeste kohta. And so be very careful. Seega ole väga aitavat. I think we should be more bold. Ma arvan, et me peaks ju olema julgemad. When he gives us a word for somebody, I think we should be bold to step out and to give it. Kui Jumal annab meile sõna kellegi kohta, siis me peaks olema julged minema ja on meda selle sõna. But don't just speak out of your head, speak from your heart. Aga ära räägi oma peast, oma mõistusega vaid oma südamest. And so he's going to get his plan done. Tema kavatseb korda saata oma plaani. But he cannot be controlled. Aga teda ei saa kontrollida. Or he cannot be held back. Aga teda ei saa tagasi hoida. You can't stop him from doing the plan of God. Sina ei saa takistada püha vaimu tegemast Jumala tööd. Nobody can. Mitte keegi. Here's the good news. Hea uudis on see. There's no government that can stop him. Ei ole ühtegi valitsus, kes saab takistada või peatada There's teda. There's no law that can stop him. Ei ole ühtegi seadus, mis saab takistada või peatada teda. He is going to fulfill the plan of God. Püha vaim saab täide saatma Jumala plaani. And he's going to go where he wants to go. Ja ta saab minema sinna, kuhu tema tahab minna. And he is going to do what he wants to do. Ta saab tegema seda, mis tema tahab teha. And nobody can stop him. Ja mitte keegi ei saa peatada teda. This is this is God. See on Jumal. This is how awesome he is. See on see, kui vägev ta on. He cannot be controlled. Teda ei saa kontrollida. And he cannot be stopped. Ja teda ei saa peatada. And his desire is he will use us. Ja tema igatsus on see, et tema saab kasutada meid. And so there are aspects to the Holy Spirit. Seega on, on aspekte püha vaimust. There, there, there's aspects to his personality. On, 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 on erinevaid iseloomu omadus. And I want to look at this real quick here tonight. Ma tahan vaadata seda peale. Because he is a force. Sest ta on vägi. He is a presence. Ta on jõu, ta on, ta on kohal olu. He is wisdom. Ta on tarkus. Some people describe him as energy. Ma nende inimesed isalt kirjeldavad teda kui energia. But this is, the, this is the thing we need to know. Aga see, mis me peaksime teadma temast, on see. He is a person. Ta on isik. And he, is, he has a personality. Ja ta on iseloom. He, he's he, he's, he's uh, the part of God. Ta on see osa Jumalast. Who is here on the planet. Kes on siin maa peal. But he is just like them they they they're, they're connected as one but that's el nagu nagu üle on osa jumalas sest on ühendatud they're in perfect unity and working together they used ikkus ühtuses tehes koostööd the father the son and the holy spirit isa poega püha vaim and jesus called him a he he's a person ja jesus ütles temale nagu tema ta on ta on tema ta ei ole mingi ese või asi he's not a dove ta ei ole mingi sõne tuvi you know people draw a picture of a dove and say there's the holy spirit nüüd sa tõnis ta pildi tuvist et vaid näe vaata püha vaim the bible says that he came down as a dove viibel ütleb et ta tuli ta langes nagu tuvi you know in other words gentle and and landed upon the lord ta isnu urnad ja 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 langes nüüd ta hellalt tema peale but it was not a bird that came and sat on jesus head see ei ole mingi linnukene kes tuli ja istus jeesus õla peale but is he just floated down and rested upon him. Aga hõljus ja langes Jeesuse peale seitsel viisil. Covered him. Ja kattis tema. And this is the person of the Holy Spirit. See on see püha vaimu isik. And and we see uh, many times throughout the Bible the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit all spoken of. Ja, ja me väga tihti näeme piibles, kuidas räägitakse nii isast, pojast kui ka pühast vaimust. In Matthew chapter 28 and verse 19. Matteus 28, 19 salm. It says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Matteus 28, 19. Minge siis tehke jüngreiks kõik rahvad, riisti teis neid isa ja poja ja püha vaimu nimest. So there again, we, we see the Trinity and ja who we serve. Ja me näeme Jumala kolm ainsust, keda me teenime. In 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14. Teise Korintlastele 13. peadük ja 13. salm. It says, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. 
teise korintlastele 13.13, istanda Jeesuse Kristuse arm, Jumala armastus ja püha vaimu osadus olgu teie kõigiga. And again we see the Trinity whom we believe. Jällegi me näeme, näeme siin seda kolma ainus, kelles me usume. And then in John chapter 14. Ja nüüd jällegi Johannes evangeeliumi 14. And in verse 26. Ja, ja 26. salmis. It says, but the counselor, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name will teach you. Ja, Johannes 14.26 siin ütleb, aga lohutaja, pühavaim, kelle isa saadab minu nimel, tema õtvetab teile kõik okay, ja tõetab teile meelde. Okay, so, so here we see again the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Ja ta jällegi me näeme siin isa, paega ja pühavaim. The Father will send the Holy Spirit in my name, Jesus was talking. Isa saadab pühavaimu minu nimel, Jeesus rääkis ise endast. And then in Acts chapter 10 and verse 30, 38. Ja siis on postite tegu draamad kümnes peade üks. Ja 38. Sail. It says how, a Je- how Jesus, uh, uh, <laughs> how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And how he went around preaching and teaching and doing good. And healing all. Amen. Jesus. Jesus was anointed by the power of God. Oli Jumala väega võitud. Who was the Holy Spirit who came up on him. Kes tuli tema üle. Again, we see all three ja in action. Kõike kolme. And so Jesus was anointed by the person of the Holy Spirit. Je- Jesus oli püha vaimu isiku poolt võitud. And he, the Holy Spirit gave Jesus power to do his ministry. Ja püha vaimu andis Jeesusele väe, et, et, et teha seda teenistus, mida ta siin tegi. And you need to know the Holy Spirit will do the same thing for you. Ja sul on vaid teada, et see püha vaim saab teha ka sinu jaoks seda. He will give you power to do what it is he asks you to Tema do. Tema annab sulle väge selleks, et korda saata, mida tema palus on teha. Jesus was uh, the most anointed person who has ever lived on the Jesus planet. Jesus oli kõige võitum inimene, kes maa veel on elanud. He was so connected, everything that he did brought glory to his father. Ta oli niivõrd üheluses Jumalaga, et kõik, mida ta tegi, tõi, au, tõi au isale. Now we need to do our best to become more and more connected. Ja meil on vaja anda enda parim, et, et ole üha rohkem üheluses temaga. So that everything we do brings glory to our heavenly father. Selleks, et kõik, mis me teeme, saaks au tuua taevasi, taevasele isale. And so I just want to remind you that the Holy Spirit desires, he wants to be involved in your life. Sega ma tahan, et sa saaksid aru sellest, et püha vaim igatseb olla osa sinu igapäeva elust. And you need to understand that he's not some spooky spiritual thing. Scary. He is he is a real person. He's got a personality. He wants to reveal himself and show himself to you. And he wants to give us an advantage in life so that we begin to rise to the top in every area of life. And here in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22, Galatians 5.20, let me read this out of the Amplified Bible. I'm just going to read the first part of this, but listen to what the Amplified Bible says. The Amplified Bible is a good study tool. But this is, this is what it brings out. It says, the fruit of the Holy Spirit the work which his presence within accomplishes. The work that his presence within accomplishes is and then it goes on to give a list of things. And so his presence within accomplishes something. What is his presence within? It's inside us, right? We, we understand it's the presence of the Holy Spirit in us. Accomplishes these things for us. And it goes on to list the fruits of the Spirit that His presence in us will produce. And this is not something that, that you have to produce in yourself. But when you cooperate with Him, these things will be 
coming out of you. Siis need asjad saavad välja tulema sinust. He will produce these things. Tema on see, kes toodab neid. You know, you, you can't make yourself a good person. Sina ei saa luua ennast heaks inimeseks. Because we're going to fail at that. Sest me, me põrume sellest hardal. But he can make us a good Aga person. Aga tema saab luua meid heaks inimeseks. Because he doesn't just you know, force us to do something. Sest tema lihtsalt ei sunni meid tegema midagi. But he creates in us a new nature to want to live a certain way. Tema loob uue loomuse, mis, mis igatseb, uh, seda, mida tema and it talks about here the fruits of the Spirit. And as you cooperate with Him, ja kui sina temaga, the fruits of the Spirit will be active in your life. Sinu elus. But this is what the fruit of the Spirit accomplishes. Aga siin on see, mida saavutab, saavutavad need vaimuviljad. It gives us here a list of nine things. Siin on toodud nimekiri üheksast asjast. And these nine things, listen, these are the personality of the Holy Spirit. Me kuulan need üheks asja, mis siin on, need on, nii on ta püha vaimu iseloomu omadused. He is a person. Ta on isik. He has a personality. Ta on iseloom. What is his personality? Milline on või mis on tema iseloom? What is he like? Milline on püha vaim? The Bible describes him to us. It gives us a list of the person of the Holy Spirit. What he is like. And the more you allow him access in your life. And fellowship with him. The more aware of him on the inside that you are. Seda rohkem temast teadviks oled ise enda sees. The more that he uh, that you will take his personality upon yourself. Seda rohkem sina võtad tema iseloomu omadusi endale. And who he is becomes who you are. Siis osa tema olemusest saab osaks sinu olemusest. Have you ever hang out with the wrong people? Oled sa kunagi valed inimestega koos aega võetnud? No, no, yeah, okay, that's cool. <laughs> right, I'll raise my hand, though. I've hung out with the wrong people before. And when I'm with those people, I end up doing wrong things. You know, you end up going someplace that everybody's doing the wrong thing. You're probably going to end up doing the wrong thing. Am I right? You know, other people's personality can get off on you when you're with them. And and so, you know, they're the people that mom would say, you can't hang out with them anymore. (laughs) And so what happens is, is you take the fruit of who they are and you begin to act like them. Mis jõutub on see, et sa võtad osa sellest olemuses, kes nemad on ja hakkab käituma nende moodi. Because you open yourself to them. Sest sa oled avanud ennast neile. You want to be pleasing to them. Sa tahad olla meelepärane neile. And so you take on who they are. Sega sa võtad osa nende olemusest endale. That can work bad. See võib toimuda, see võib nii-öelda olla nii negatiivne. But it can also work for good. Aga see võib ka toimida positiivselt. Because you could be around people who are Godly, Sest loving. Kes on ja and you can take on their personality. Ja võtta osa, uh, nende you can become more like them. Nende and it could be a good thing. Ja võib olla hea asi. That's why the Bible says we need to come and gather together and spend time with one another. Me peaksime kokku saama ja veetme aega. And so that we, we, we can help each other. Et me saaksime aidata üksteist. But this also helps us with the Holy Spirit. Aga see meil ka vaimuga. And the more relationship we have with Him, Ja mida rohkem suhet meil on temaga. The more we open ourselves to him. Seda rohkem me avame ennast temale. The more of his personality will begin to work through us. Ja seda rohkem tema iseloomu saab töötada ja toimida meie läbi. The fruits of the spirit is the personality of God. Vaimuvili on uh, vaimuviljad on siis Jumala iseloom. And as you cooperate with him. Ja kui sina teed koos tööd tema. You become more of who he is. Siis sina muutud rohkem selles armastaks, kes on tema. Amen. Amen. And isn't that our desire? It should be. Ja see ei ole meie igatsus peaks olema. I want that to be the desire of this church. Ma tahan, et see oleks selle koguduse igatsus. Is that we become more like him. Et me muutume rohkem tema sarnaseks. That I don't want to stay like me. I want to be more like et him. Ma ei taha jääda selleseks nagu mina olen. Ma tahan muutuda rohkem well, tema sarnaseks. What is he? M- m- kes on tema? Well, the, it goes on to say, let's read it here out of the, no, I'll just read out of the New Living. Oh, no, you can read out that. That's fine. Uh, me võime siit, siit lugeda siis 22. peadukist. Kalaadastele viise ja 22 on loetud. It says, but the 
Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. And there is no law against these things. Amen. Amen. This is what he will produce in us. Why? Because this is who he is. This is his personality. I'm so thankful he's all these things. <laughs> he's been so good and kind and patient with me. He's been so faithful. He's been so gentle. Amen. Amen. I want to become these things. And I, I, maybe I've changed some in, in the, from my past, and I thank God for that. But I don't know about you, but I still have some room to grow in these areas. I can become more like him. My desire is to be more like him. And so I believe that this is in me. Aga ma usun, et see on minu sees. And I want this to be in you. Ja ma tahan, et ka see oleks sinu sees. And as a believer in Jesus Christ, this is what is in you. Jeesus Kristus ees uskujana, see on sinu sees. But if we are lacking in one of these areas, aga kui sul on vaja ka mõningates nendes valdkondades, then this is one of the areas that we need to cooperate more with the Holy Spirit who's in us. And allow him to influence our life. Allow, allow him to lead us in every decision that we will make. And when you, you know, when you are a mess, he's not. When you are a mess, he's not. Siis tema ei ole sassis omadega. It could be a mess out here, but it's going to be good inside. You might have done something stupid, but you've got the wisdom of God on the inside. And he will help you out. Amen. Amen. He will help you through. He will get you where you need to be. If you will follow him, if you will yield yourself to him. And you need to be more sensitive to him. So that you become more like him. And I want to read one more scripture to you tonight out of 2 Corinthians 13. Uh, and, and I want to read this again. We've already read it tonight. But I want to read this out of the Message Bible. And I want you to listen to this. It says, The amazing grace of the Master, Jesus Christ. The extravagant love of God. And the intimate fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Ja Jumala be with you all. Olgu teiega, kõigiga. Let me read this again. The amazing grace of the Master Jesus Christ. Arm. The extravagant love of God. Jumala and the intimate fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Ja, ja, suhe püha Be with you all. Olgu teie you have an intimate, you can have an intimate friendship with the Holy Spirit. Võib olla väga suhe püha now when we say intimate, a lot of times we think of something different. <laughs> I'm not trying to be sexual. This is not a sexual thing. This is a real, close, intimate relationship. This is something where you've opened yourself to him and he's opened himself to you. It's so close that there's nothing between you. This is what Paul prayed for them. He said, I want there to be such a close relationship between you and the Holy Spirit that there's nothing between you that you become everything that he wants you to be. And you allow him to flow through you the way he desires to use you. You can have this kind of friendship with him. He is a person who is on the inside of you as a believer. 
And this personality of God is going to begin to flow and show up through your life. And what is it going to show up as? Love. Joy. Peace. Patience. Kindness. Goodness. Self-control. I might have missed one, I don't know. Two. <laughs> okay, I missed two. <laughs> yeah, faithful and gentle. <laughs> All right, so, this is, this is what God desires to do for us. <laughs> this is what he desires to do for <laughs> us. <laughs> Show up through us. <laughs> so that we are able to be all that he wants us <laughs> to be. But it's his personality becoming more of our personality. <laughs> and sometimes we just need to slow down. <laughs> sometimes we just need to take a little time and just wait on him. <laughs> and I'm sure the Holy Spirit wants to have a relationship with you. <laughs> and we just need to ask him every day to, to help us. Before we leave the house, say, Holy Spirit, be with me today. Show me what you want me to see. Show me the things that are going to come so I can be prepared and equipped. And, you know, take time to read the Bible. But I've said this before when you read. Don't just read it. Siis ära lihtsalt loe. Let it speak to you. Vaid lasse kõnetab sind, lasse räägib sulle. Don't just read the Bible. Let the Bible speak to you. Let the Holy Spirit take these words and make them so real. That it becomes as if God is speaking this to your life. That's the way that we get more and more understanding of who he is. And we just need to take some time and let him speak to us. Through his word. Take some time and, 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 and say, you know, help me. Use me. Guide me. You know, correct me. Warn me. When you face your day, Kui sa lähed oma päevale, päevaga vastamisi. You need help. Siis sul on maja abi. And he is our advantage for life. Ja tema on meie eelis elus. You want to have a better life. Kui sa tahad, et sul oleks parem elus. You need to have this amazing personality, this, this wonderful part of God to be our help. Siis sul on maja seda imelist iseloomu, et see ei osa Jumalast oleks koos sinuga. Stay connected to him daily because ja ole he, ühendusest tema iga päev. Because he knows the way for you. Sest tema teab, mis, on, mis teema sinu jaoks parim. He knows the best way for all of us. Tema teab, mis on parim teeme kõige jaoks. And we just need to receive from him. Ja me ei ole maja vastavata tema kõige. And we can be filled with him. Ja me võime olla täidetud tema. And the Bible talks about being refilled daily. Ja piivel räägib sellest, et me võime iga päevast saada uuesti värsendatud ja uuesti täidetud. Continually. Jätkuval. And I want, I want us just to take some time before we leave here tonight, just a few minutes. And just receive the power of the Holy Spirit and be refilled tonight. Amen. Amen. And so would you stand? You know, I believe talking about him, we, we, our hearts are open. And we can receive from him. And he's not going to make you weird, he's going to make you better. And he's going to fill you so that you will leave here tonight and you will know him even more. That that personality of him will begin to flow through you even more. And you can know him. Hallelujah. Do you want to know him tonight? Amen. Amen. Then let's pray. Let's just take some time and let's just let's just let his presence saturate us. Tonight. Let's stand and just surrender ourselves to him. If you if you want to just feel free to raise your hand. You don't have to. But just surrender yourself to him. Oh precious Holy Spirit. We thank you for all that you are. And we thank you for all that you do. 
Ja siis see, mida sina teed. And we receive more and more of you in our life. Vastu sind üha rohkem, rohkem oma we open ourselves to you. Ennast sinule. So that we can become more like you. Selleks, et me võiksime muutada üha rohkem sinu sarnaseks. Fill us again tonight. Fill us again, Näin living God. Tana, Spirit of the living God. Elava, vaim. Fall fresh upon Ma us now. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you that you fill us tonight. Thank you that you use us. Thank you that you reveal yourself more to us. Fill us. We need you, Holy One. We need you, Holy One. Oh, we love you. Holy Spirit of God. Holy One. Holy One. Holy One. Hallelujah. Now just enjoy this moment with God.